Hi guys, this is John. And Patrick. And this is Recipe for Disaster. So we wanted to see what would happen if we made trail mix snack sticks. Now we've done man mix way in the past. That's trail mix with jerky and a bunch of other great stuff in it. But this is something different. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, neat idea because like, I mean, I, I think a lot of people, it's it, it's an on-the-go snack. You, mm -hmm. To me, I mean, trail mix, you think outdoors real quick, real something awesome, energy packed. And then what doesn't go along with that but snack sticks, right? I mean, so it, sure. I think it's a match made in heaven. And the first thing we had to think of is what seasoning we wanted to use. I was looking at what's in a bunch of different trail mixes and cranberries were in a lot of them. So I went with the cranberry summer sausage and snack stick seasoning. Then we went ahead and we added some pumpkin seeds. We crushed up some mixed nuts, though it was mostly cashews, uh, raisins, and uh, nut cherries. Those craisins. are craisins. Craisins. No, yeah. those are cranberries. Cranberry raisins. No, those are two different things. Are they? Yeah. That's those are raisins and those. For are all intents and purposes, we have raisins and cranberries. Okay. Craisins. So craisins, <laughs> and then uh, mini M and M's. Now with the mini M and M's, I would highly recommend that you add those at the last minute or so of the mixing process. Treat them like high temp cheese, right? Yeah, yep, that's a perfect way to look at it because man, they looked beautiful when we first put them in there, <laughs> but then after a couple of minutes of mixing, the candy shell melted off and it was just like- You get a you get a beautiful gray flavor <laughs> or color. It, it's almost like a greenish blue. It was not attractive, I'll tell you that. Uh, we went ahead and then just followed a regular smoke schedule. I did add just a little bit more of the sure gel on this than I would on a normal snack stick just to make sure everything stayed where it was. First thing that was amazing to me is you have no run of the chocolate or anything down the casings. I mean, it is a pretty much a perfect snack stick, at least from- I'm, Yeah, I mean, I think that's what parents. you're going for too, right? Cause like all each particle, I mean, all the add-ins, all the ingredients, they're very different, but you want to see that in the finished product. Yep. They all run together, especially we've had different cheese and, cheese and stuff and stuff and the the flavors just get real out of whack and just uh, it, they can't stand out on their own. I think something like this might benefit from that. So All right, so we've had actually other people here try these already and the reviews were pretty positive. Um I have not tried it yet though, so I'm going to go ahead and wouldn't add the pumpkin seeds next time. Did you get a big pumpkin? I did seed? and I did not care for that. It got a little something crunchy kind of in the middle. Really? I did not like that. Surprisingly, I think the hero of the dish is the sweetness from the M&M. Yeah, absolutely. I bit right into the center one. It, you, you, look how perfectly it stayed. It didn't melt and run. Yeah, so that, it melt, that's but very got odd. Trapped by the rest of the meat. I could hold M&Ms for five seconds. Meanwhile, they're all over my hand. I put them in a snack stick. They hold. They hold up great. The initial takeaway for me. Take a nice big bite, you get a lot of saltiness, and then that sweetness really comes in on the back end there. Yeah. And, and it makes for this this perfect combination. You get a nice texture, added saltiness from the nuts. I, I don't think we're really assuming we get a salty, sweet, perfect mix, but um, I don't really pick up a lot of raisin or anything no. like that. Nope. Um, that kind of gets lost. And then, yeah, if you just a little bit of texture with the pumpkin seed there, almost, I didn't get a hard, hard bite. Yeah. Some are a little, not soggy, but... Uh, like a wet coating to it. it, slips around in your mouth a little bit, but other than that. So yeah, you agree not those next time. Do I don't think again. there's an added benefit to them. Okay. Really, if anything, uh, a little bit more of uh, M&Ms and, and nuts in general. So. Sure, yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. And I would definitely recommend someone, if you're looking to try something different, do this at home. It's a, You can't get much more of a protein, power, like everything you want in a snack. These would be perfect to take out for a long day in the deer blind, duck blind, anything like that. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and post a, a full recipe on Meatgistics. And again, this is a, another failure for the recipe. I mean, that worked. Yeah, this is not a disaster. In fact, a, a smashing success. I mean, and this is, if there was one above all the other ones we've done recently, uh, uh, besides like something like maybe like tofu brat, this was like, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be horrible, it turns out, be the exact opposite. I think we actually uh, hit a home run with this one. So very good. All right. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything about the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John and Patrick, and we'll see you guys next time. I wanted green M&Ms. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos.
or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Watch our latest sales and giveaway video by clicking here or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.